Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. Our Daily Bread, May 10th. Love one another. Tis love that makes us happy, tis love that smooths the way. It helps us mind, it makes us kind to others every day. This world is full of sorrow, of sickness, death, and sin. With loving heart we'll do our part and try some soul to win. God is love, we're his little children. God is love, we would be like him. Tis love that makes us happy, tis love that smooths the way. It helps us mind, it makes us kind to others every day. Love one another. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer, and ye know, that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. Hereby perceive we the love of God, because he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. 1 John chapter 3, verses 15 and 16. Of the special sins in which this love should be manifested by believers, the apostle writes, A new commandment I write unto you, which thing is true in him and in you, because the darkness is past, and the true light now shineth. He that saith he is in the light, and hateth his brother, is in darkness, even until now. He that loveth his brother abideth in the light, and there is none occasion of stumbling in him. But he that hateth his brother is in darkness, and walketh in darkness, and knoweth not whither he goeth because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. This is the message that ye heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer, and ye know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. Hereby perceive we the love of God, because he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. It is not the opposition of the world that most endangers the church of Christ. It is the evil cherished in the hearts of believers that works their most grievous disaster and most surely retards the progress of God's cause. There is no surer way of weakening spirituality than by cherishing envy, suspicion, fault-finding, and evil surmising. On the other hand, the strongest witness that God has sent his Son into the world is the exercise of harmony and union among men of varied dispositions who form his church. This witness, it is the privilege of the followers of Christ to bear. But in order to do this, they must place themselves under Christ's command. Their characters must be conformed to his character and their wills to his will. A new commandment I give unto you, Christ said, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. John chapter 13 verse 34. What a wonderful statement, but oh how poorly practiced. In the church of God today, brotherly love is sadly lacking. Many who profess to love the Savior do not love one another. Unbelievers are watching to see if the faith of professed Christians is exerting a sanctifying influence upon their lives, and they are quick to discern the defects in character, the inconsistencies in action. Let Christians not make it possible for the enemy to point to them and say, Behold, how these people, standing under the banner of Christ, hate one another. Christian are all members of one family, all children of the same Heavenly Father, with the same blessed hope of immortality. Very close and tender should be the tie that binds them together. This passage was taken from the Acts of the Apostles, pages 548 through 550. 
Our Daily Bread, May 10th. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.